Okay, here's an update for my project, my Yeti project. Here is the AXIZ1000 service pack. So I'm going to need some tools, some wheel wrenches, 2.0 hex wrench, and some scissors. So I'll cut this open. And basically, what happens is uh, due to the design, and when you're using high power, the hubs get ripped up on these on the wheels since they're plastic um, so with the updated design now it's not going to have a pin on the hub that's built in so let's take off the wheels here okay so here's the old design where um, you just have your cross pin and what happens is this is actually a second or third hub I'm using now because the old one this whole part just got chewed up to where there's nothing for the pins to drive anymore so with the updated design so now you've got where a hex hub goes in there and this screws into the wheel now this is the new hub and then now you've got this aluminum hex which will mate into this that goes onto the hub. And there's two sizes for the hub since the wheels are offset. This goes on the front front wheel and this goes this part, the thicker one goes on the rear wheels to get the right offset on the on the Yeti. Open this up. I'm gonna do it to one wheel and the other four will just follow through. So let's see if these are any thicker on the pins. So I'm gonna use the new pins just let's see for comparison. Let's see if there's any difference. It's about the same. But I'm gonna use the new one. This will mate into there. should be pretty close in size. All right. Now let's install the hex screws. Normally I don't like using drivers on plastic parts, but I'm just pre-drilling, pre-threading it.
right, now I'm going to finish it off with just hand to manually driving it since I don't want to strip those. And tighten these. And I like to go in a crisscross pattern just so I tighten them evenly. And since these are going in plastic, you want to be careful careful not to over torque these. Okay, getting close. So I'm just using the tips of my fingers and not full wrist torque on it so that way. Hmm trying to be careful on the plastic. I do have some aluminum Vanquish hubs um, but um, I've got some other wheels on order so I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna keep these maybe as a spare. Alright. Hub's ready to go. Okay, let's see if that's even. Try to move that around. Looking good. Yep. So now we've got the hex attached. Um, there is a small set screw for the hubs, and that goes. So here's a small set screw that goes into that hole. So since it's going metal to metal, we're going to need a little bit of thread lock. So that it does not back up. Back up. So I get a little bit of thread lock on there and going into our hub. not back out and it looks like it's got enough space of a gap from our uh, from our lockouts rear lockouts and now we attach the wheel to the hub tighten that down and that's set for the rear and the fronts will go in just the same it just doesn't it's just a thinner hub. So here's a front, and this will go in that place. So just do it to all four wheels and tires, and that's all you need to do for the update. Um, thanks for watching. And any questions, comments, concerns, hit me up. Please hit the like button if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys. Looks like they made these beefier also. So if you could see that star pattern and see how much more meat you've got on these plastic hubs. So for added strength. And here we go. Got the front wheel completed. Now it's going to put that in. Sure it's engaged in the hub and we can tighten up our wheel nuts. Let's tighten it snug. There we go. And actually looks like I I'm not getting as much hub engagement on that. And just in case the nylon's already worn out, I'm gonna put a drop of blue thread lock on there so it engages the aluminum and of course you're going to want to let that dry and there you go guys thank you thanks for watching please subscribe